The battle begins. Claxon already a bit of a battle occurring here in the jungle. They're saying that Faith Beyond's best hero is Axe, and well, he's already been able to bully a couple of these heroes out of the pool again by Trent and Gunner. You mm. guys, we uh, we saw them bully back. Doesn't look like there's going to be any first bloods uh, as we are already into the laning stage. They talked about not having that extra firepower with the Chronosphere. Is there yeah. anything else that you're seeing in the draft that you like? Well, I mean, one thing we were talking about during the draft was like, uh, who is going to be at the end, right? Who are you saving this for? And it comes out of Faith Beyond, mm. right? What's the storyline been for LGD? What have people been talking about? He's leaving, right? So the supposed retirement after this. So it comes down to him down here. Potential last chance. The Axe. We were looking for a crazy hero. I wasn't expecting this one. No. Yeah, he's making his own story here, right? Axe, Axe, I think Axe is a silent hero throughout the year and can make a lot of noise at TI. It's one of the team fight heroes with catch, stun. Yep. The whole game too, right? You don't have to worry about those BKBs yep. that of course have become so prevalent at all stages of the game with the, our various refreshers and Ex Machinas. And Even the refresher Axe. Yeah, constant. Oh, totally. Well, you can see that uh, he's off to a decent start down their bottom. It's going to be interesting to watch how that one plays out. Uh, and of course, as you said, a hero that definitely has made its name on the big stage. One of the most iconic games for it was against LGD way back at TI8 with Seth playing that one. Uh, but now Faith Beyond's going to have to make it work here as East Coast already up one game uh, over, again, the defending runners up. So you're going to be zoned back a bit. I do agree with the uh, the faces void yeah. problems too, though, because I, I think that was very important for how they were able to stronger. But the the concept of the spells and what they do provide, Tiny just consistently been a good hero. Displacement, like the best thing in Dota. Magnus like last year. Yeah. These things work Dying well together. Top, top. We'll get a spike Carapace Sun into another one. Chasing forward. If they get Faith Beyond, this would be big. We'll go for the call. A couple more punches coming through, and we'll get a few more spins along the way. Uh, Stinger's not careful. He might have gone dead. Seen a lot of mid lane being held yeah. by Gojira on that Nyx Assassin, which has been pretty nice as Hector is going to get ran down a little bit here by Faith Beyond again. Yeah, and Faith Beyond, of course, uh, whenever you're playing this axe, one thing that you love to do is you get this really early Vanguard, and you want your supports to stack up those ancients. Because it's just super easy, very free to farm. And Greg Rick gets towards that blink. Oh, into the combo. That's going to make sure he can't get the time on. Oh, barely brings him. Now he's just out, though. He's going to run on home. Kind of like uh, Ace, of course. You know, kept getting EMP'd in his match. And the Underlord running all the way back. You know, nothing to say. Getting sent back as well. Radiant's LGD already off to a very hot start. Not just CS, look at that net worth lead. 3,000. Aggressive minutes. positioning. Under the tower, like this. Yes, Two Chrono. TPs in. They're going. Chrono going to be used. Marcy under control. Why is there? Going to send back Gojira. I don't know if they have the damage for this. They might get one. They have the TPs. It's okay. Everyone's oh, coming. Of, back avalanche in. toss. A couple more punches, but nothing to say. Also shows up. See Smile in some trouble. Will get stunned. That's just to try and get some separation. As they toss in the CM, uh -oh. Stinger is going to be left to the walls. See, Smile, what are you doing? Oh, no. Arena down, though. They're just trying to keep the fight going a little bit longer. Faith Beyond, do they have the damage for this? I'm not so sure. Arena breaks. Spear goes down. Everybody oh, bottom. A lot of action going on as 10 heroes down bottom. LGD, they're coming out on top. The five hero swarm assembles down here. They delay the fight with the Chrono. TP's come from Beast Coast. I mean, whoever wins the fight just gets everything. That's why you usually see one hero kind of gets left behind to farm creeps top, mid, somewhere, but it's a big commitment. The mana burn. Find another. See Smile Avalanche trying to get out of there, and it looks like he will. Don't want to chase that much further. Gojira now in, and he's going to be the sacrifice. LGD just holding hands together in the jungle. They keep finding kills. I mean, you're getting these glimpses. You have Marcy jumping up ahead. They have so much reach and catch right now with this controlling it. They are trying to come in here and hold this high ground, I think, thinking that there might be like a move coming through, right? And uh, they're beginning to scout now. Trying to grab Smile. Y. Avalanche, oh, didn't get the, toss. the toss back, gets it onto one, but the call, the interrupt, will it be enough? See Smile, they get one kill onto the disruptor, immediately have to run away, Gojira. Mana burn, Stinger also there, looking for the slow, but the dunk, it's queued up, it's coming, trying to separate, still living, and gets a little juke, where'd he go? <laughs> Behind the tree, jumps in. Faith Beyond, he says no. But they are still threatening this mid tower. And with this type of a lead that they're having early on, I'm not sure if Beast Coast have the answers yet. Very, very scary. And LGD, they're just going as, you know, a stack of five around the map, taking objective after objective.
I think this is where kind of the draft talks about the void versus last game. Yeah. There's no snap for these chronos. And there it is. The call, the connection, and Whisper dead. All it takes is a second. LGD, keep the train. Some damage, but it's not enough. No one's really dying on the side of LGD besides why. Yeah, and Whisper, time and time again, has been this go-to person for the team when they're in these situations to try and enable them. And uh, that, that death up top really hurting him as he's trying to get towards that Blink Dagger. But Myra's really the hero that can try and get them a turnaround, a good fight, but he's not ready yet. See Smile throws out the Avalanche. Oh, he's still the Blink. And trying to get some separation here. It's going to be glimpsed back. Why finds him. The stun, it connects onto Ame. No more mana, no rage, Come on, but no land. problem. Faith Beyond again cleaning up. I mean, it, they won't be able to find him. They might have been TPing in vision. Uh, we might start seeing some of those uh, like glimpse wards come out from these situations when they're trying to run away from you. Nothing to say, just running in. They're ready to go. Frostbite, Faith Beyond still looking for the chase. Avatar, Spear dead. Oh, Got him. Oh, and then he didn't want to jump in. Round two of this one. Can they bring him down? Whisper is there, has a spear from up on the high ground. But the Marcy jumps in and immediately explodes one. Gonna dunk two. Has to run away. Good. The chase is coming. They got him Don't caught. K1 it. done. See smile as well. Brought back. Oh, they keep on falling. Another one in the area. Put in these fights is going to have a hard time. If LGD has a glimpse, they have Marcy to chase and. These guys just have so many stuns and slows that they're just going to keep constantly getting rounds of spells off. Uh, Faith Beyond tried, but the, not, not enough uh, fast enough pace from the damage there. Another life stealer bomb. Gets the blink off first. Looks for it. Why? It's going to run right into one. There is the disruptor ulti down. CM, a lot of armor from the ulti, but it won't be enough. Whisper, glimpse has already been used. They chase Faith Beyond looking, but he gets the blink off in time. Where the damage ticks come on <laughs> for just not really doing a whole lot on the map, but ensuring that those neutral creeps oh, die. Why you got to do that too soon, man? Unbelievable. Well, 9 to 15, spear down, the call to turn, and Whisper in some trouble. See Smile throws out one salvo of spells, Zinq living through it. Whisper is in trouble and going to die, and in fact, they picked a fight with the wrong combo. Gojira tries to move into position, stun is there, and K1 moves. Where's the damage? Do they have enough to see a multi? Actually brings down Babyon. Nice hold on the chrono, too. Not wasting it. Spear shows. Oh, down Ooh. bottom at the same time. That's a fresh BKB. That is a big one. Zing Q goes down. Faith Beyond trying to make something of it. Why catches with the arena. Looking for the bigger target. He wants Hector. Faith Beyond leaves C Smile behind to find the bigger prize. And Gojira dead too. The glimpse they had all the time in the world. C Smile tries to TP out. Not Blow up damage. All you got to do is bring him back to the fight afterwards. You're so far ahead. Keeping the snowball rolling. And now right onto the high ground with the track. His static storm are also a bit amazing. He always is catching the like tiny specifically. He'll wait just as the tiny blinks in, catches him, breaks up the combo with the silence, and it's just really hard to play into. Oh, and they find him another kill here as TM did not stand a chance. LGD, they just keep running at the double jump spear. Looking for it. Do they have enough for the Lesh rack? Arena down. Oh, get good stun. Gojira there. Can they get the kill? Nothing to say. Oh, no. He's getting out of there. He's starting to get brought down though. Hector on top and five. Almost gets a kill, but he lands up behind! Ame! He survives! They bring down the Aegis now. They were waiting for it. They are hoping for a bigger hit, but it's not going to be there. Spear, connection, a glimpse back onto one. See Smile in far, tossing it to his teammates, trying to keep himself alive, but it won't happen. The Rock Man is brought down, and LGD still standing tall. They're running out of gas here on Beast Coast. Hoping for something, anything. Ame! <laughs> The taunt, the spear, the connection. Hector trying to survive through this. They've left for a very long time, though. Wait a minute. She smile. The rest of Beast Coast, are they doing it? It doesn't quite look like it. Hector backs away. Rage in two. They keep the chase One. going. Another spear. It comes too late. The rage is out. Ame still lives. Faith Beyond very low. They're keeping the damage on him to break the blades. Go Jiro with the stun. Are they actually doing this? Beast Coast, they fight another. Why? God. Zinky looks like he's gonna die, but he gets the life sword from sidekick in his ult. And at this point, hold that thought. They'll find another. Gojira, this is a kill onto the Nyx Assassin, I think. No! Doesn't get lucky with the spin, but they'll find him with the dust. 
So that is a pickup that they need as the lead was brought down to just 6k. They'll find Stinger here. Why still in the area as the CM brought into the embrace of Faith Beyond on that hex. 11 stacks now. The so, calling armor. This doesn't make D going for the wrap. We'll see if Hector is found. They see both of them on the lane. This is dangerous. Hector caught looking for the impale. Not going to happen. An easy pickup and exactly what LGD needed. 70 seconds, no boy. He actually had buyback too. I'm not sure what happened there. But gone now. Who, Hector? Yeah. I, I think he bought out now. the Mjolnir recipe. Oh, he did. Yeah, okay. Jump in, find another, CM dead. Just good movement. LGD, when the fights get a little bit wild, obviously they're in a really good position on the nice coast, but when they looking for it, CM opening a good arena to make this happen, but the taunt is there, so no spear for the follow-up. CM already done, nothing to say. Aiden through that tree volley. Whisper just tries to get out of there, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. They bring down the Mars. LGD, keep it going. It really is the static zones from Y. They've been so good. They in these situations, especially for Beast Coast, it's really important that they have to do everything together. When, you, when you're ahead, you have the advantage, you can know. They, if Axe doesn't show up to a fight and it's 4v5, the game is just even gold-wise. That's how much gold ahead LGD is right now. So it's really important that Beast Coast is constantly they a 5 again. K1 gets the bash. Oh, the bash. oh man, a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. It works out well for them. Nyx is still hitting to the side. The tree volley not doing nearly enough damage. LGD take down three. There are no buybacks of damage for the void. No follow up, no firepower, and LGD just keeps walking at them, and nothing Beast Coast can do. I mean, we, we set the two, right? We're like oh, kind of on the same guys. level. Yeah, yeah, I would say. Of course. Yeah. Of, obviously, you too, Trent. Yeah, thank you. Just, thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to make that really clear. Yeah, the CM already in trouble. They go for the burrow. Look for the stun, some mana burn maybe. Whisper still hunting. They only catch the Marcy, that's not good enough. Nothing to say, runs on in, finds Gojira. Whisper tries to stop this damage from coming through, but the dunk is there. No more faceless void. See Smile turns, tries to go for the tree volley, but the bash is already done. LGD are gonna close this out, push it to a game number three. Oh, I know that's what everybody here wanted to see, let's be honest. Crowd cheering their way to see themselves into a 1-1. We had some struggles finding game threes as we came to the playoffs here, but we got them now. Days. Yeah, it's good now. We're, we're all set.